Okay, welcome back to this uh, ongoing tutorial about um, climbing, implementing climbing uh, functionality. Um, I'm using these animations from Mixamo and um, in this tutorial I want to um, continue the work that I did in the last one. Um, and actually I did a little bit off screen so I will first off start by repeating all and going through all the changes that I made and give you guys a chance to catch up. And the reason for this is that my uh, I made these changes in a previous, I was trying to record this and uh, suddenly the, my computer crashed and um, the video is gone and I, yeah, well, I don't want to begin all over again. So I will instead go through all the changes that I made and uh, you guys should probably pause the video in between so um okay let's see if i can remember everything okay so um basically what i did was to take we have had a hugging boolean saying if we were hugging a wall and i replaced that with a climb state and if you remember the climb state variable uh, type then it's the um, one we made on the animation it is an enum saying if we are not climbing, if we are jumping to a ledge, or if we are hanging from a ledge. And we use this primarily inside the animation blueprint right now. But uh, it occurred to me that we need this also in the, in the animation blueprint. <coughs> so that's why I also uh, added this variable inside my base character. Okay, so let's start. Um, the move forward and move right. I have these climb states go into the handle forward direction and if we take them one by one and take a look at what's changed then we had this boolean coming in before now it's just saying the climb climbing state is equal to not climbing then it will uh, be true so that's the forward direction okay um, and the right direction is uh, the same kind of it's just saying climbing state equals not climbing then we want to use a normal uh, control input otherwise we want to use a climbing control input okay so this is the part that i changed here okay so closing this one up so let's zoom out a little bit and um, come into the camera zoom this one also had a boolean coming in the, the this hugging wall and clicking into adjust camera zoom um, we now say okay if we are again not climbing uh, then we will set uh, this local hugging wall to true uh, to something yeah the, depending on this okay so basically it's the same uh, all three places uh, that I did just to move this one in and uh, make this comparison inside and Okay, I didn't change anything out here just to, because all that uses the local variable here. So just make sure to change this one, then you will be fine. Okay, and I think, uh, let me zoom out a little bit. And I think I changed, we had a lot of stuff going on up here and I kind of got, got tired of that. So I uh, marked up everything and collapsed it into a function I called try grab ledge. And it's coming from uh, the input jump, going from the imp from jump to this one. So just mark everything up if you have that, and uh, right click it and say collapse to function. Then you will give it a name, try grab ledge, and then you will have all this stuff in here. So I changed uh, one thing in here also. Um, I took the wall normal from the facing wall and i set that as a local wall normal so that's just saving it as a local variable uh, just by dragging out and promoting to local variable because then i avoid having to drag this arrow all the way over here because that's where i use it um, <clears throat> so um this is uh, the logic so um basically Let's just come, uh, this is the, 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 the fun functionality that makes us grab the wall. Okay, this part here. So this is uh, 
grab onto a ledge okay to make a little comment here um, and right now I'm not setting that uh, mentioned variable to anything so for now just to make sure that we get something different from not climbing uh, but let's set uh, this to um, something like well we are technically jumping so we're not yet hanging but we are jumping so let's see if we start this one up right. and one thing else I also changed was the, the three boxes that I had last time um, oh yeah and you will notice that I have this coming uh, this trace going on all the time that's um, the last thing I'll return to that in a bit because I changed this um, these boxes so I have a, a different angle to climb on so I can check uh, test this out so now I can see even with a, a, um, an off angle I uh, get oriented correctly and here I do not what okay I do okay didn't seem to work Okay, anyway, maybe because it's shooting out this trace all the time. Let's see. Um, inside the base character in uh, event graph, we have the um, event tick um, firing all the time. And um, <coughs> um, I think our setting this uh, is hocking wall here to true. And I removed this actually. And what we should do instead here, we should replace it. I, uh, I would recommend that you remove this uh, if you have this is hugging wall because we're not going to use this variable and you, you will end up being able to delete it complete, completely. Okay, but uh, we need to, um, because right now this is firing all the time and we only want to do this if we are actually um, uh, um, facing a wall, um, uh, climbing a, a wall. So um, let's go into the event graph here and we have the, where it's being called. It's, right now it's calling facing a wall. So what we want to do is actually we want to check our climb state first. So drag this out and say, okay, are we uh, equals to not climbing? So if we are, um, well, actually let's make this are we this is i hate these logical okay equal to not climbing let's go with that can't make up my mind <laughs> so uh and let's make a branch and say okay if we are not climbing then you should not, not trace. So this one needs to go down to false, like this. And um, actually, yeah, let's take this stuff here and mark it up and uh, throw that into a, a function itself. Okay, collapse to function. And let's call this um, check state, check climbing state. So this check climbing state is now uh, calling the facing wall function. And then um, if we are in in any way uh, climbing state, uh, then we will check if we are facing the wall. Okay otherwise not so now we got rid of that uh, line going constantly firing and now we get aligned completely as we was before and uh, we should not keep getting this oh of course we're not setting it back okay of course okay um, let's actually do this now that's a good point to uh, to do this um, one thing I want to do first though is to take uh, away this sliding we have a, a some kind of sliding going on so in the base character uh, in the in the blueprint here we have on the character movement 
we have a few type uh, down here in the details flying we have something called breaking the acceleration flying let's set that up to 1000 and um, we can grab onto something and now we stop completely okay so um, yes we want to be able to jump down that's uh, we are going to begin working on this now so what happens uh, when should you be, uh, jump down well if you're not facing the wall anymore um, then you want to um, jump down so um, we have this check climbing state oh that's the one we're in here yeah of course um, so instead of just exiting if we are suddenly uh, not facing the wall, uh, not that one, this one should actually just go. This one is confusing me. Okay, if we are facing a wall, let me think. Um, we need a branch, of course. Of course, we need a branch. Okay, so. This one is telling us if we're facing the wall, and if we are not facing the wall, then we want to go up down. We assume that we were hanging, so let's call this drop down. Let's make a function for that. Uh, drop down from ledge. Okay, and then let's call it. Uh, dragging on off from the falls okay yes i think that's good okay um so uh what do we need to do when we drop down well we need to set the movement um back to walking so let's set a uh, movement mode To walking yes and then we also on our um, character movement I like to drag out these instead of dragging them through but you can do whatever you want you can also put them underneath okay so we also want to set this orient uh, rotation to movement back to true so we can uh, turn our character again and then we want to say something like um, well now we are dropping down from the ledge uh, again so we want to update our climb state um, set actually we want to just set this to not climbing for now because yeah well, we don't know, ha have a way of knowing when we hit the floor. So for now, let's just keep it simple and say, okay, we are not climbing anymore. It's not perfect, but it's gonna work, I think. So we climb and we come out and um, we, we are now technically walking, but the animation is still um, in this hanging state. So I think this is, um, this was actually not my plan, but this uh, is bringing us up to speed on what I actually had in mind to, uh, to begin with uh, when I started this video. So um, I think I'm going to cut it now and uh, take a break and then come back and uh, resume with the stuff that I think is really uh, a good thing to talk about and, um, and do it before we actually uh, implement the um, climbing down animation part okay so uh, until uh, next video bye bye